Let me talk about, you know, in answering your question about aging infrastructure and what we see. Essentially, I'll start with this. I'm, I'm a runner. I like to uh, do distance, uh, distance events, and I like to pack my shoes wherever I go and uh, find a new trail to run along. And I, what, uh, I often find that I'm running past a transmission line because they make nice linear uh, trails. And I will have my phone with me, and I will often have to stop and pause my Garmin Strava uh, watch and start doing a little structural inspection because I see corrosion, whether mm -hmm. it be on direct embedded poles or lattice tower legs or even anchor base structures. Uh, it's out there. Today, mm -hmm. it's just it's continuing its uh, next day of, of corrosion. It has certain systems that were originally designed to protect it from the environment, but those systems are designed to sacrifice themselves until one day that, that is no longer there to protect the base metal. For example, we, we had a project last year um, at EXO that was up in the uh, Ohio area, and there was a line that was originally put in out in some open fields, no residential or commercial uh, streets in the area. And this line was uh, weathering steel, which was uh, back in the 1970s, sort of introduced as a maintenance-free. Maintenance-free, yeah. Maintenance-free. Yeah. Um, but that's a 50-year-old structure now. <laughs> and uh, interestingly enough, on that uh, line, uh, there are now homes built right up where their backyard fence is on the, uh, goes right up to and through around the, each pole structure. So the access to these poles is pretty limited. They're being fertilized and flower beds and all sorts of things in people's backyards. But a portion of it's also along a trail. Like I mentioned, I'm a runner. The, there's people hiking and, and walking dogs along this trail and they, uh, a, a uh, person from the public noticed a hole in the side of the pole. and Usually uh, not a good thing. Not a good thing. And uh, they reported that, and then one thing led to another. A number of folks, uh, different uh, consultants arrived and had different theories on what caused the hole uh, to be there. But in our case, when we came into the picture, we were able to assess the wall section loss, the impact on the overall cross-sectional strength of that pole, and more importantly, um, know how to rem remedy that. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually had various uh, degrees of uh, remediation options depending upon how severe the corrosion was. So we were able to go in there. One of the things the utility was facing was a problem. The public didn't want them there. The neighborhood didn't want them to change out the pole. Tear, it, tear up somebody's backyard or what have you. Exactly. And... Um, and that was going to involve a lot of equipment, and it was going to involve a lot of damage to their backyard, as you say. So one of the, the uh, we adapted a solution that we'd used in some other parts, uh, some other for some other utilities, and it was um, really a splint or a load transfer bracket that we came up with. First, we would take care of the corrosion and the coatings in that area, but rather than custom design a specific welded plate and all the equipment that it take, takes to do that, we were able to manufacture elements that would bolt together in a, an arrangement that we could hand dig the hole and that we could uh, remedy, uh, arrest the corrosion action, and then uh, assemble around that pole very aesthetically mm -hmm. a, a, a bypass of that part of the pole that was structurally compromised, restoring its strength and extending its life for hopefully another 50 years. Absolutely. And, and in that solution for the client where um, you're in a landowner, in, in a, a landowner or, or person's backyard where tearing down their fence and tearing up their backyard is terribly expensive for utility. Uh, utilities have a right to go on your property if you have an easement, but it doesn't mean they can tear everything up without having to pay for it. And so it becomes pretty expensive. So this was a really nice solution for this particular client where we could go in with just guys carrying in this erector set kind of low transfer bracket, get it all erected um, and stabilized and, and, um, and be able to get in and out with very minimal uh, traffic on, on an individual's property.